Here's how to check screen time on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone or you have a kid's iPhone and you want to see the screen time usage, how many apps they're using, how long they're using it, all that, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's first just open up the settings on that phone, and you're going to scroll down until you find screen time. So right under focus mode, there is screen time. Let's tap on that. Now on here, you can see I just turned this on, but you can see hit see the see all app and website activity. And this will show you your screen time usage for the day or for the week. Now let's just go to today here. So you can see I just turned this on, but in the last few minutes, I've used photos for one minute, settings for 40 seconds, and Instagram for seven seconds. Now in any of these, you can tap on it and you can see what your daily average usage is. And the nice thing is you can set screen time limits. So for instance, Instagram, let's say you have a kid and you wanted to limit how much of Instagram they can use. You can hit add limit here and you can say, I'm going to limit it to 30 minutes a day and we'll choose every day here. Now on here, you can always customize the days and just say, all right, on Friday and Saturday, they have different amounts of time that they can use Instagram or Saturday and Sunday. And then you can also hit edit list and let's choose all social apps. Now I can hit add and just like that, I've set that limit. So social apps will be capped at 30 minutes. They cannot use it after that. It will reset every single day. Now you can go back here and you can see other stuff like pickups, basically what initially caused you to pick up your iPhone notifications, whether you're getting messages or phone calls or emails. And then of course, if you go to the top here and you go week by week, you'll be able to see kind of how that changes every single week. So how many hours or minutes you spend on various apps. Now keep in mind on here, if you go back and scroll down to the bottom, you might have a locked screen time setting. So if you tap on that, you can see it asks you to set a passcode. So if you did have a teenager or a kid that you wanted to basically limit how much they can use, you're going to enter in a screen time passcode and then you can just enter in the Apple ID account password there. And let's just hit skip here. And just like that, I have that passcode on there so that I can limit and set all of these restrictions on here for screen time usage for various apps or types of content. And no one else, if they go on here, will be able to change it unless they have that passcode. Now, another really helpful thing is the content and privacy restrictions at the bottom. You can toggle this on and enter in that passcode real quick. You can see a bunch of different things. For instance, allowed apps. So you can choose to allow apps or not to allow certain apps. You can choose app store purchases, whether they can allow to basically download and install apps or use in-app purchases to use your credit card. You can do other things like limit location services the ability to use photos, sell data, all of these different things. You can control and limit the functionality of the iPhone. This is especially helpful, again, if you have a child or teenager that is using an iPhone and you want to make sure they're only able to use it exactly how you allow them to use it and they can't use it for anything else. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.